Hi, I'm Jenna from Tiny House Giant Journey. I'm here with Art. He has a tiny house website called tinysiphouse.blogspot.com. We have a video tour with him uh, going through his tiny house, but right now we're going to talk about his composting system. All right, so um, I have a composting toilet, like some uh, same one that you use, and you start it off with the peat moss. And then I compost my food scraps and other waste that's, that's compostable. So what I do is, this is a little can I might have on the counter and all my coffee grinds and food scraps go in here. And then I've made this secondary composter for to combine them all and, and finish it off, make it a finished product. And it's just a plastic barrel, a guy that a car wash, they have uh, a lot of these. I think they get their soap in them and they're free or they'll charge you 10 bucks. And it was originally white and I painted it black just to get the heat. Just made a simple door in it and then suspended it on yeah. some boards. So in here are, is the waste from my toilet <laughs> and, and my food waste. I now, mean, it looks like dirt to me. <laughs> it's, it's actually really good soil right, right now. And what I do is I keep the, uh, the toilet waste has to go up to 200 degrees or two years. Now in the, in the sun, in this black barrel with the composting action going on, the 200 degrees is really easy to reach. So this has been cooking now for six months. So other than the recent food scraps I've put in there, mm -hmm. it's really just really good uh, rich soil right now. So how often are you putting in food scraps and toilet uh, scraps waste? Just I don't toilet know. waste? <laughs> I haven't put toilet waste in here in, in about six months. It's okay. just, that's uh, pretty normal for my system. But um, this, the food scraps go in here daily and it's mostly uh, a few vegetable scraps and coffee. There's a mm -hmm. lot of coffee in this soil, so it'll be yeah. very uh, nitrogen rich, I think. Now, when and how are you going to use this once it's done cooking? Well, it? I'm going to use it around the fruit trees again as a uh, compost around the base, and then mm -hmm. I'll, I'll use that as part of, it's all going to be part of my uh, gray water system where I'll feed those trees with the gray water and the compost. And Excellent. The way my system is rigged up, and this is it's 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 evolving. This is the third generation, but um, my sink and my shower drain into a nine-gallon gray water tank under the under the house, and then attached to that is a garden hose. So it's constantly draining. So it's more like a surge tank than a storage tank. And then I, I used to have this hose, and it's just a garden hose that I would. It was uh, on top of the grass, and it would go from tree to tree to tree. But this St. Augustine grass just kind of grew over it, and it is buried in here somewhere. Yeah, you can't tell. And it, now it discharges right here, and it's been discharging right here now for a year, and uh, that's that's it. It just this section of grass you'll notice is a lot more lush and thick and taller. Mm -hmm. It it gets the uh, nutrients um, and seems to love it. Everything that everything that I water with that gray water just thrives. It, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it, there's there's good stuff in there. Uh -huh. It's like just micro to, yeah. micro uh, compost. Just to clear it up, it's it's food scraps from your kitchen sink, body oils from you taking a shower, and yeah. then the biodegradable soaps that you're using. Yeah, that's and that's basically uh, it. The, the the couple of things you don't want to put in here is obviously like animal proteins and grease, and that's pretty easy. I, I don't cook with a lot of those, first of all. But yeah, it just does really well. Most of the Organisms that love to eat this stuff are in the first couple of inches of topsoil. Mm -hmm. So the quicker you can get them in there, the, the quicker they start to break it down. The happier they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much for taking us through your system. Oh, you're welcome. Hope it's helpful for some of you out there. You pee in your shower? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I just put my knee in it. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Where, what do you, I'm assuming you don't put your urine, uh, you do dump it. Yeah, yeah. Put it around the trees. Yep. So Lisa has been watering your trees too with her <laughs> urine. <laughs> they love it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't pee in it last night though, so you're probably good. <laughs> Thanks.